watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Alright, so today we're going to be looking at a case knife and this is going to fit into the premium style reviews, those over $50, so this is not a budget knife. This was one from Case and I've kind of been uh, considering getting more and more cases for this year, so uh, looking to get just more of them than I've bought in the last couple of years. So here we have model number 379. This is a Leather Hunter M3 Fin SS with sheath. And you can see there the date made was July 18, 22. And this is uh, the packaging here. Tested XX. Made in the USA with domestic and imported materials. So... There you have that. Now what we've got here is a small hunting knife inside a leather sheath. The sheath is pretty nice. It's got a nice wraparound style snap. Holds it in there very snugly. And we'll take a closer look at the material here for the, the sheath. Nice leather. Feels pretty good in the hand. You got about a one in it a half inch loop there probably accommodate a belt about one and a half inches see the stitching here at the top and then on the on the bottom for the loop then we've got a rivet here stitching along the edge both sides and you can see the welting there it's done pretty well yeah, but pretty well designed sheath and the button's pretty nice too. You get it says WR Case and Sons, Bradford, Pennsylvania. And then you get the XX there in the middle. So pretty nice little sheath. I'm just gonna set that off to the side there. But the the fin, their mini fin, I should call it. It's just a little uh it's a little hunting knife. And it's six and a quarter inches. From butt to tip, you get the True Sharp stainless steel on the blade, and it's got sort of a, I'd say call it a scanty grind, but the, the, it also has a has a hollow grind to it, according to Case, calling it a concave grind, so I'm guessing that means a, a hollow grind, but it, it's pretty subtle. It's pretty difficult to even tell. And you get some jimping at the top of the blade, and there's a good look at that blade, blade stock. The profile of the blade. But it's just a clip blade in the end of the day. And you get the uh, stacked leather handle with the red and black spacers, and then you also use some, uh, looks like either aluminum or stainless spacers there. The butt is definitely aluminum. And you can see how well that's polished over. Kind of give you the idea of the profile of that uh, handle as well. You can see the swell in it. Feels very comfortable in the hand. Very polished and nice leather there. Just extraordinarily comfortable in the hand. Now it is a rather small knife. And the handle length is probably... Uh, right about three inches so you're not able to get a full four finger grip on it unless you're you got smaller hands and you're choking up um, I'm choking up on it I can just barely get three and a half on there uh, put it up on that jimping you know but uh, yeah the handle's about three inches and then the blade to the tang is about three and an eighth and then you get you know a cutting edge of about two and three quarter inches so it is a very small hunting knife. Might be a great hunting knife for a younger person just getting started. Or just be used as a detailed skinner or caping knife or something like that. But you could also use it for small game. Right? Rabbit, what have you. But just a really nice handle on it. I mean, it just really sets it, sets it off. Very comfortable in the hand, like I say. Gives you a really comfortable grip. And uh, the blade material, again, is the True Sharp stainless steel from Case. The 
call it there, true sharp surgical steel. Right, there's a good look at the blade grind on it, or edge grind. Looks pretty well done. There's the other side. And of course with the case knives, you get the date code on there. And this one has eight dots for 2022. And how that works is it starts at 10 in the zero year. So say 2020 had 10 dots, then 2021 had nine dots, 2022 has eight dots and so forth. Till you get down to 2029 and it'll be one dot and then it starts over again. In 2030, they'll start back at 10 dots again, or yeah, 10 dots again. So, in any case, it's a really well made knife. The mirror finish on this thing is just impeccable. Got a few fingerprints on it, but I'm trying not to touch it too much while I'm reviewing it here. But it's just a really fun little hunter with a really nice little sheath and just a nice package overall. Now, I got this at Ace Hardware and it was like $55 from them but I think anywhere else I've seen it it's been $65 so Smoky Mountain Knife works $65 they are still making this knife this is not this is not an older piece no, it's still available but just a really fun little you know almost like a bird and trout knife and just a really beautiful piece from case so there you have it guys this is a case 379 mini fin surgical steel blade six and a quarter inch length very easy to carry every day very small should have no issues uh making this an edc so you know, slide that on your belt you're good to go but a uh, great little hunting knife or outdoors knife for uh some relatively light tasks and uh, maybe some skinning, caping, etc. Should be a super sharp blade. We can actually give that a little quick test if you'd like. Let's give this a little cutting test. There you go. Pretty much no problem getting through that paper at all, which I would expect. And they do pretty pretty decent edge on these case knives. But that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really like this knife. Uh, probably going to be doing more case reviews this year than uh, than I have in the past. And uh, this is, like I say, just barely above the $50 mark. This one, uh, again, I would recommend trying to find it at Ace Hardware. They seem to have that for $55, where everybody else is about $10 higher. But that's going to do it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like. Hit that like button, please. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And then if you are subscribed, turn on the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. I hope everyone has a fantastic day today. And please do take care. <music>